Hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. I am finally doing my classic hairstyles video. You guys have been asking for it. I'm doing these waves along with my more natural waves. I want to thank Dyson for sponsoring this video. You don't know how much I love my Dyson hair dryer. I actually do because I've talked about it many times. They sent me the new black and purple Dyson Supersonic, which is so sleek and pretty. Ah, oh, why did I put it over my ear? I thought this video would be perfect for around the holidays because this hairstyle is great for when you have events. And then my casual waves is just like good for those family kind of holiday things that you don't have to like look super good, but you still want your hair to be nice. I definitely wear the casual waves more often, but I love this for when I want my hair to look really pretty. And these are like my no fail waves. This hair dryer has literally changed the game. It is so light. Like it's just crazy. The hair dryer obviously comes with it. Then you have two little nozzles, the styling concentrator and the smoothing tool. Comes with the diffuser, which we'll be using. And then it also just like extra bonus comes with this little heat mat, which is like just so nice. It comes with this little uh, thing <laughs> that you put in. It helps you like hang the hair dryer like Thanks Dyson for thinking about me and where I'm gonna store my hair dryer. Very sweet of you. Okay, so I just wanna talk about this hair dryer a little bit because I wanna tell you why this is the best hair dryer I've ever used. So this hair dryer has intelligent heat control. So anything over 150 degrees is gonna burn and damage your hair. This hair dryer doesn't go over that. It goes only up to 100. If it doesn't go super hot, how is it gonna dry my hair? It's actually the like super um, fast, airflow that will dry your hair fast so instead of using a bunch of heat to dry your hair it's going to use that powerful velocity of airflow also something i really have to talk about which my um, hair salon uses these now and it's like game changing for them it's so light it's also super balanced so it doesn't have that heavy back end and then non-heavy front end so the motor is actually in here which is nuts so it's just really balanced and easy to just kind of like flip around and the girl who did my hair last time at my salon was using this and she just like, it saves my arms. <laughs> Let's just get right into the looks. So this hair look is my more glammed up hair. I wear this when I want like my hair, to, I just know it's gonna look good. I get out of the shower, I put some heat protectant in, I put some gizu in my hair to keep the ends nice and clean. And then I just go in with this smoothing nozzle because I'm super bad with a round brush. So this tool is great because it kind of takes away the stuff of having to use a round brush. You can just use your fingers and you can blow dry your hair. Smooths my hair, takes out all the frizz. I love that. And I, since I filmed me blow drying my hair, it took me under five minutes to dry my hair, which is insane. Five, under five minutes. Like my hair was completely dry. So I usually just point the nozzle facing down to create the smoothest texture possible. But then in the fronts and top of my hair, I lift my bangs up and I blow dry them upwards to create more volume. And then I also flip my hair both ways and blow dry them both ways to create that volume. I'm then easily able to flip my hair both ways with my hand throughout the day and it'll kind of move with me. When I'm trying to dry my hair quickly, I use the highest heat setting as well as the highest power setting. And then when my hair is about 85%, 90% dry, I drop the heat setting down one. So I'm on the middle heat setting and the highest power setting. So after I just blow dry my hair, it's all sleek and smooth. I hit it with a cold shot to keep the style and, and smooth out any frizz. And then I go in with a 1.5 inch curling wand and I curl my hair and I just go through the sections alternating forwards and backwards. I like doing forwards and backwards because I just think it creates a more natural look and all the hair is not gonna fall the same way. And then as I get closer to the front of my face, that's when I start just doing away from my face so I get this nice like, you know, windswept, windblown sort of look. When you're curling your hair with your wand, you wanna make sure that the barrel is pointing down and you're, o you're leaving about two inches out of the bottom. So you don't wanna curl the hair the whole way. You want to leave a good chunk of hair out to create more of a wave and not so much a curl to the end. This is a crucial step in making the waves look very natural and beachy rather than a baby doll curl. And then this hairstyle is all about the products that you use at the end. So, so first I put in a little more gizu to create that shine. I'm really into shiny hair and it's just like a good product to keep nourishing your hair with. And then I throw in my IGK texture spray. This stuff is so key for me. I don't use hairspray or anything. I just really want this like nitty gritty texture in the hair. Um, and I want the curls to be able to fall and move throughout the day. So I don't want them to be stiff. So I spray this in my hair and then I just scrunch up my hair to create a very natural look. You can also do this with dry shampoo. I just prefer a texture spray. In the end, you can I scrunched it with a little whey wave spray to again, create some more texture. And then that's it. You get this super glam holiday hair. 
from holiday to beyond holiday. So this is the second look and it's the casual, more natural wave look. The way I get this look is I first put my hair up into a bun out of the shower. This gets it out of my face and away from my face while I'm doing my makeup and getting ready. And then when I'm ready to do my hair, I let it down. I put in my Aveda Be Curly and some Gizu. So then once I put those products into my hair, I get into the diffuser. So I take the diffuser and I magnet it onto my hair dryer. And then I use the lowest power setting and the lowest heat setting to create the most natural wave look. We really want to try to replicate just being outside and that sort of air dry effect. Try not to take the diffuser from the bottom of your hair and scrunch it up to your scalp because it'll create kinks. So just try to lay your hair on top and go through and then at the root you can kind of massage it in so it creates more texture at the top. Another great way to use the diffuser is to flip your head upside down. You can get underneath where I feel like it usually takes forever to air dry. You can really get in there and dry it and also create some nice volume. Once your hair is completely dry, that's when you'll go in with some other products. I go in with a Gizu again because I haven't had a haircut in a while so my hair is a little ratty at the bottom. So some Gizu, I use the Way Wave Spray. And I love using dry shampoo as well. You usually have dirty hair, so dry shampoo is a lifesaver. It also adds some great texture to your hair if you need it. Then you end up with these really natural, easy waves, and you can just, I like to flip my hair back and forth. It looks just really easy and nice, and it's great for those days over the holidays where you want to like look nice, but you don't even want to look like over glam or anything like that. So. Great holiday hairstyle, but also a great everyday hairstyle. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, hope you learned something about my hair. A big shout out to Dyson for sponsoring this video. I'm so in love with the Dyson hair dryer, it's kind of embarrassing. Everything that will be linked down below to help you get your hands on this new Dyson hair dryer. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace and love. Love you all.